In July of 2004, I fell 18 feet, uh, landed on my head and shattered every bone in my face. My, my eye sockets, my cheekbones, my jaw, everything just shattered. My, my nose was across the left hand side of my face and it was just completely shattered. I was taken to hospital and on arrival my mum was told that Leicester has a 3% chance to live. Because the injuries were so bad, that we, they couldn't perform an operation straight straight away. So after um, a week, um, my injuries, the swelling had gone down and they could start on, on the operation. My mum was asked to bring photos of me because they couldn't tell what I looked like. The doctors had no idea. There was uh, six doctors. The operation took 14 hours uh, for them to rebuild my face. And so I have um, titanium clips going around my eye sockets, in, in my nose, in my going across my face, into my cheeks, across my jaw. A few days later, after the operation, I was in the, hosp in the hospital bed and I was looking out of the window and across the road I could see a field and there was trees in, in the field. Uh, it was just, and it was, the grass was so, so green. The, the leaves on the trees just looked so green. The sky looked an amazing blue. I, I, I've not seen it, that, that colour before. I've seen it blue, but not as blue as, as it was. And it, the funny thing was, it was raining, but there was no clouds in the sky. And this was just making everything look really fresh. And it's, it was almost, and, it was, and, and I got, got this sense, like a feeling of, if I'd have died, I wouldn't have seen like like grass or, or trees or the sky and I wouldn't have felt felt the rain on my face and it was just these small things you know it's just like wow I wouldn't have felt that and I, I started to get this sense or a feeling that there's got to be a reason why I didn't die you know a three percent chance so and I've started to believe that somebody there must be someone who has save me you know there must be a, a god there must be a reason or a plan why i didn't die and i i wanted to say thank you but i didn't know how to i didn't know i don't know anybody who who was a christian it's like my mom's not a christian none of my family are christians none of my friends so i didn't know who to ask or what to say and so so over the next few years um I actually thought I was invincible because I'd not died. So I'd done all these different jobs. I completed the um, in the London Marathon twice. I did. I took part in two um, strongman shows as well. I just thought I was invincible. And then I became um, a fitness instructor. And when you when a new member joins, you do a health check for them. And while I was doing a health check, they they asked me about my scar on my head. So I told him this story and I got to the point where I said, oh, you know, I'd like to just to, to thank God, but I, d I don't know how to do that. And they said that they go to church and they go with their mum and I'm more than welcome to go with them. So I thought, oh, wow, that, that would be amazing. You know, I'd love to, I was really, really excited and uh, but really nervous at the same time, having never been to church before in, in my life. And uh, I was sat there, okay, I was sat there with about eight or nine people and a guy started to read from, from his Bible and I was looking around the room and everybody had their eyes shut and I was thinking, oh no, what am I doing here? What is going on? And then I didn't know what he was reading but um, he got to a point in his Bible and he said, for I know the plans I have for you plans for good, not for disaster, plans for a future and a hope. 
And then I had like this, like a picture of myself um, sat in the hospital bed, looking out across this field with the trees, with the rain. And it was just like, and it, it, honestly, I could, it felt like God was speaking to me in that room and, and in the hospital bed. And, um, and that's when I knew that, that it was right. I knew that this was, this was for me. To, um, and then on the 12th of March, 2010, um, I became a Christian. And, and then, ever, ever since then, it's just been unbelievable. I've got m married, we have um, a daughter, we've got um, another baby on the way, and it's all because of, of, of God. He, he saved me, he saved me. He saved me.